Well, let's let's get started with this. Yeah. Let's get started with this uh, webinar. Hey, uh, we'll start with uh, Rob Scammell from Paddy as the as the regional manager. We'll uh, introduce a little bit about what the Paddy system is about. Uh, then I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, professional careers in diving, and we'll uh, end up with uh, Das, the the director of Temple Adventures. Uh, explaining a little bit what's happening specifically in Pondicherry. So uh, let's give it over to, to Rob and you can take it away with these slides, Rob. Eh? All right, thanks for doing the overview of the presentation there, Mark. All right, <laughs> hi folks. Um, welcome to the presentation. Thanks for giving up your time, um, be it in lockdown or in different parts of the world. Just to let you know throughout the whole of the presentation, we will mute your mics. There's some 23 people on board at the moment. And obviously if you, are, if you all ask questions at the same time, it gets a bit complicated and confusing, but do feel free to send in questions, et cetera. And Daz at the end, we'll go through a way of kind of um, how to get your questions to us and how to get some speedy answers back as well. One thing I'd like to talk about is things from my point of view and from a Paddy point of view as well is we've got a nice graph here of the planet Earth of the world. 71% of it is for divers, 29% for everybody else. And I think in the times we're in at the moment, there was um, a news bulletin that went round um, with a newscaster saying it's safer to be underwater. It certainly is at the moment, but even without these times around, if you think about the thing that motivated you to start to dive, to enjoy diving. I, I started diving some 35 years back or so. Yes, I am that old in Spain. And I remember the days, my, my first dive, that first experience and adventure it was awesome, it was fantastic. And since those days, we've just continued on and on in doing the same thing, expanding on, on those adventures and enjoying them more and more and more. And the world is there, for you to enjoy and as you become a pro to start to pass on that enjoyment to your students, to the people you work with and to people you take and dive as well. And it's a great adventure, it's a great world and the world is there for you to go and enjoy, explore, discover. All right, so let's have a look at the basis of becoming a pro and probably the, the whole thing is yes, it transforms life. I'm sure those like 35 years ago or so in Spain, if you'd have turned around and said to me, I'd be at my home, which is in Phuket in Thailand today, doing a webinar to you guys. I'd have gone, get out of here. I'm just some kid on the beach who goes diving, and one day I'm going to be instructor, and then I'm going to do this and do that. It does change your life, and if you think about perhaps even just from the first moment from when you learned to dive, how things have changed for you. You probably made new friends, new partners, been to different places that you'd never thought you'd go to in your life as well. And as you come through as like um, open water diver, rescue diver, and then you go through, it's kind of, what's next? I really like diving. Don't know if I want to be involved. Don't know if I want to be a pro or not. And really, if you think about it, if you're enjoying diving, enjoy that time of being around people, probably the next thing and the first step of being a pro is being a dive master. And dive master is probably the coolest title in diving. I'm sure Mark and Daz, Aravin and those guys and myself will all say that you can be any environment in the world and say, hey, you know, I do this, I work in diving, I'm a course director, I'm an examiner, I work for Paddy, I do all these cool things. And people who are not involved in diving so much will say, are you going to be a dive master then? And it really is the coolest title level to be at in diving. It's really that first step of you starting to pass on your enjoyment of diving of kind of Hey, look, there's a clownfish. Now, imagine somebody's enjoyment the first time they see a clownfish, a manta ray, a reef, or even some type of marine life that for once is not on the plate in front of them, right? And part of the dive master course is learning about the dive business, learning how to dive guides, how to take care of people, how to take care of customers, how to help them enjoy their underwater experiences. And from that point of view, to assist with teaching as well. So you kind of that bumper, if you like, between Sir, who's the teacher and the student, help them to overcome those nerves, help, help them to ensure equipment fits properly, to be kind of um, ambassador of the dive business and dive shop. And you're learning as well, there's a few experience programs Dive Masters can run. 
right? So you learn how to conduct those, but it really is that thrill and adventure of leading dives and guiding divers. So you bear in mind as a dive master, you are there to assist the instructors. You're not qualified to teach, so you're not qualified to go out and do try dives or teach diving. You're purely there in an um, assistant instructor role as such to help the instructor and the dive center team and to help the customers and the students enjoy their experience of diving. Going on from dive master, there is a step of going towards becoming assistant instructor, which is where you learn a bit more about teaching, how to teach some basic skills, and there are some more programs with that that you can get involved in teaching. And then of course, the logical step from dive master assistant instructor is to go on to look at our instructor course. And that's why we we'll just have a look on the next slide, I believe. All right. And the instructor course, this seems very daunting, but you're kind of preparing this from the first moment you learn to dive because you kind of think as an open water student, you learn how to mass clear, how to fin pivot, how to put on your kit, how to take it off. And really all that you're doing on your instructor course is learning how to teach people to do skills that you already know. In the same way, you've learned all the things about diving, the science of diving, the basics of diving. Are you learning how to pass on both your skills and the knowledge that you gain in all your diving experience in your open water course, your advanced course, your rescue course, your dive master course, you learn how to pass on all the skills and knowledge that you've got onto your students. And as part of that program, you're improving on your leadership skills and you're looking at how to organize and train people as well. And the whole point of the program, it's an IDC and the D stands for development. So the whole point, you don't have to go there thinking, yes, I am an instructor. The whole point is the program is purely based on performance base. So you can take your time, learn at your own pace and become an instructor and develop and build on your strengths. And of course, to develop weak points and improve them as well, right? Um, lots of ways to learn. Some of you may, may, may prefer to do it in a classroom. Some of you may prefer to do it online, especially at these times we've got now in the lockdown but all of your instructor training is conducted by a course director such as Mark and once you've done your instructor course right you then move on to the next step and the next slide which is the instructor exam and that's where a person like me turns up with a big big pencil uh, and a red pen going yes you've done this right or or you've done it wrong but purely and simply my job at that stage is to be an external source that comes in and basically says that everything you've learned and your training so far is correct. So my job is simply just to tick the box and say, yes, you've done a great job. You've learned all the theory of diving, all the standards of teaching. You've learned how to teach in the classroom. You've learned how to teach in the open water. You've learned how to teach in the pool and your diving skills are up, are up to scratch as well. So basically everything you've done in your diver training is there, it's in place. Mark's done a good job from that point onwards of ensuring that you have the skills and knowledge to go on and teach that. And that's basically what my role in the capacity is there. My general role, just to let you know, in country is I'm there to help to support um, dive shops, dive instructors from a marketing point of view in, um, in country um, with a point of trying to support the industry and its growth as well. So I'd be kind of one point of contact at the moment in India. To move on, I'll hand you over to Mark now, and he's gonna explain a little more about the network and business that he's got in place to help to support you as well. Cool, Thank, thanks Rob, hey. Uh, I, I look forward to getting back into India very soon. Huh? And hopefully we'll run an instructor program uh, at the end of August. So we've got something planned for August the 28th. Uh, I'm really hope to see you all then. Uh, you notice part of the Dive Careers Network, if you guys do your training uh, with us through Temple Adventures in Pondicherry, it opens you up to uh, a whole world of, uh, of networks and, and connected divers and, and dive centers uh, throughout the globe. You know, I've, I've myself did uh, 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 teaching in Sri Lanka and Maldives and, and India mostly, and also here in Kaolak in Thailand. Uh, we've got Julian as well, who is uh, predominantly based on Koh Tao uh, in Thailand. And he's also doing webinars every Thursday uh, to help you with dive theory. So if any of you guys are interested in refreshing your theory or interested in looking at a dive master or an IDC in the future, 
those uh, theory online Thursdays are a really good thing to, to join up to as well. Uh, you know, as, as well, we've got uh, a shop that we work with in uh, Sicily, where Alfio, who I see has joined, uh, lives as well. Uh, with Carmelo there running IDCs and uh, running Great Dyson there. He's also doing IDCs for us in, in the Middle East, uh, in, uh, in uh, Egypt, in Haggadah. And we've got Shane based down in uh, Indonesia, uh, where IDCs run in both uh, Nusin and Bongan and Ahmed and Baz, uh, who's joined the, the uh, webinar today as well. It's based down in Philippines as well, where Ross also runs IDC. So there's a, a whole group of us ar around the world uh, in several different destinations. And that is really something that we can use as an advantage uh, or a plus towards your careers, because you know, part of our job as course directors and instructor trainers is about helping you guys find uh, work around the world and a, and a great career in the dive industry. And that's, that's what we hope to bring through the Dive Careers Network and our partnership with uh, Temple Adventures in Pondicherry. Now you notice, you know, becoming a, a paddy professional has uh, a lot of advantages. You know, it's by far the biggest company, uh, the training organization in the world. You notice in India, about 85% of the registered dive centers are actually uh, paddy dive centers. You see a, a great growth going on in India. Before this lockdown and COVID uh, hiccup, you saw that domestic market in India growing astronomically, which is great to see. And that means you guys going through as dive professionals you know, uh, will have loads of opportunities to develop that Indian dive industry. Now you notice domestically, it is uh, growing very well and there's many dive centers there where you can find work. I think what we'll see as your market in India starts to open up, uh, people will be eager to go for holidays and they're going to do those holidays probably based in, in India before uh, going overseas. So it's probably not a bad time to become a dive professional and look, out, uh, look around for work uh, once the COVID lockdown starts to, to open up a little bit. There's also a lot of opportunity for Indians around the world now. You know, there's uh, a growing market in Indonesia, in Thailand, uh, in the Maldives where Indians are, are going to train and, and get certification. So, you know, languages like uh, Hindi and Tamil are becoming much more important around the world to, uh, to dive from it. So that also gives you guys great opportunity around the world. Now, as, as I mentioned, part of our job as instructor trainers is to help you find work. So, you, you know, during your training with this, we'll help you put together resumes. We keep that support uh, well after your training. You know, I'm still often in touch with people that trained with me two decades ago. Uh, and as they look for work, they ask for advice and you can always give them a contact around the world. Now to help you with that, you notice there is an employment board on Paddy uh, where there's a lot of jobs advertised uh, each day. And also as dive careers, we've got an employment board where our uh, candidates can sign up to and use to help to find, to find work around the world. Of course, you know, these, these uh, employment opportunities at the moment might be a little bit limited, but the world is starting to open up. You see here in Thailand now, we've opened all the diving to the domestic market and the people that are in Thailand now. As of July the 1st, the international border opens up, so we'll have uh, hopefully a lot more tourists coming in from places like China and, and maybe even from Europe as well later on in this year. Uh, and the same is going to happen in, in India. You now you'll open up with that domestic market first and people will be seeking opportunities to dive in places like, like uh, Pondicherry, which actually has some great dive sites. You know, the opportunity to dive in places like Temple Reef is, is one of the best examples I've seen uh, of, a, uh, of an artificial reef anywhere in the world. You know, those, those things are going to attract the, the millions of people you've got in, in areas like Chennai and Bangalore for sure. Uh, and as we open up more to international tourism, you, know, uh, you see that's a, a great growth market for India as well, that they can uh, attract more and more divers from around the world because India does have a, a, a lot of great diving to, to offer. Now, the things that you guys need to look at to improve your opportunities with teaching around the world. 
art out DAS will talk with you a little bit later about uh, equipment uh, and the, the role that equipment plays in the dive industry. You notice Temple is a great place to gain experience with that uh, through their sister company, ProScuba. They're also uh, the Scoop Pro distributor uh, in India. So there's some excellent uh, training programs going on with, with Akil and, and Rob for compressors and, uh, and dive equipment. And that is an excellent skill to have when you start looking for, for work around the world. You know, especially if you're in remote areas or areas where there's not many dive centers, uh, having someone on staff that knows how to service equipment is essential. Uh, <coughs> you'll notice also uh, things that you might have from uh, your career before becoming a, a dive master or dive instructor. Things like customer service or computer skills or managerial skills, they're all extremely important uh, in the dive industry. And they're, they're the sort of paths that you guys can uh, promote to, to help you have a, a rewarding career. One, one of the things that we offer uh, our guys is they uh, complete training with us around the world. One of the shops I work with in, in uh, Thailand also does uh, things like Liverboard uh, internships in Finland in the season that starts in October. So now I think that is also a great way for you if you train in India and you want to get some experience outside the world uh, or outside India, uh, there are opportunities that you can do further training and, and improve your uh, employment opportunities with things like Liverboard internships and so on. Right. Now, DAS is going to talk a little bit about some other things as well. So I'll introduce DAS soon. Uh, I, I'd just like to, to say, you know, uh, I know in this period of COVID that it can seem that uh, it is difficult to, to look at changing your career or pursuing a career as a, as a dive instructor. But as we can see here in Thailand now, things are starting to open up and I think we'll get back to some sort of normalcy you know, in, in the near future. Uh, and the dive industry has so many opportunities that can offer you guys a, a great career. So if there's anything that you want to uh, contact about if you have any questions please just email me or on Facebook uh, and I'm always happy to give advice and, and help you guys uh, with any uh, things that you need to, to help yourselves in your in your own careers uh, and if you're interested in looking at what's in a dive master course or what's in an IDC it is great to join Julian with these theory Thursdays uh, and start uh, uh, learning a little bit about equipment and physics and physiology and uh, that theory behind diving. So hope to see you guys all soon. Uh, and I hope to be there on August the 28th for the next instructor course. I'll give you guys over to Das, the company director of Temple Adventures. Uh, and he can uh, explain some more things to you. <laughs> well, I was hoping we'd stop soon, but like, I don't know. Um, thanks, Mark. And thanks, Rob, for the introduction earlier as well. Um, well, I could... To be honest, I was not supposed to talk about this slide. I was supposed, it was supposed to be your job, Mark, but I'll, I'll cover for you. Um, anyway, uh, with these, uh, what Mark was trying to tell, like, as part from being an instructor or a dive master in the dive industry, um, and diving actually constitutes, I would say, like 30% of the entire day. And if you look at the rest 70%, it is like the admin work, then there is a bulk of it actually goes into um, equipment maintenance and one of that what we do it during our IDC programs is tie up with scuba pro uh, india and they are very close to us and we try and introduce these scuba pro uh, technician programs um, along with idc now these are not the full-fledged technician programs but they happen around the idc so that anyone who is interested in learning more about um equipment uh, care, as well as um, learning how to service regs, like resort levels uh, regs, which is a part of the level one program, they can learn it. Now, what what happens is that you guys will not be certified equivalent technicians here, but will be certified as scuba pro ones, that's an uh, error in the slide. Um, but during this scuba pro uh, technician programs, you will also learn about a sales workshop. Um, a lot of people, would say that being an instructor is not, yes, it is a lifestyle, it is a, it's a, it's a career where you're doing something which you love doing, but
but also you are basically sales people you have to sell courses you have to sell um, diving to other people you have to sell that concept of diving but also you make a lot of money by selling equipment and there is a lot of uh, commissions available um, worldwide on equipment sales so this is something which is um, which we teach you guys and train you guys on how to do sales how to maintain your equipment how to um and and you end up becoming um more employable in terms of a dive center owner or dive center manager's eyes so when you become an instructor after the IBC you are not just an instructor but you have additional qualifications under your belt which may be um which is generally the equipment side of things as well um mark can i have the next slide please Did Mark go away somewhere? Um, there's something else which we do um, and which we like to promote as well is um, con the conservation um, efforts. So a lot of people would know that India has been doing a lot of work in terms of conservation, but it's all done by these grassroots organizations and NGOs. So we are one of these guys which we do a lot of coastal cleanups, beach cleanups. Um, but one of our main uh, focus areas is actually artificial reefs, um, which we which we initially started working as um, fish aggregation devices, and then we modified it the concept of it to become actual artificial reefs. And one of the our uh, premier reefs is called Temple Reef, which is you can see the the middle image there, which is the which was a subset of the, uh, the entire reef structure. And we focus a lot on our artificial reef concept, um, the design of it, the construction, the building of it underwater. And right now we're working with even small kids, school kids who then bring in this, their modular reef concepts and then we help them put it underwater. And then this develops this concept of ocean ambassadors where people from a very young age, they start learning about conservation as well as taking care of the ocean. A um, couple of things which we work on is um, engagement projects with local fishing communities and, and villagers. So lot, our entire fleet of captains which we have, like we have five captains and all of these are local fishermen whom we have shown that they can, um, they can do more than just fish and but they can have a, a proper source of income which is in terms of diving. Um, and then, of course, there is the entire range of professional courses which you can do, which is from uh, DM to uh, you can't do a course director, but everything till then. Um, we do a lot of technical diving as well, which is also a focus, and which we believe is that focusing more on technical diving as a dive master or a dive professional it brings you that discipline inside you, which helps you in the long run as an instructor and dive professional. Um, next slide. Um, so the upcoming IDC, as Mark was mentioning, we are starting one on August 28, hopefully. Uh, but this is all primarily based on government guidelines on uh, local uh, tourism as well as international travel. Um, if by any chance we are unable to do the one on August 28, we would look at uh, doing one maybe in September or October. But if that doesn't happen, there is one pre schedule for November 13th, which is there. Um, that definitely looks to happen. Um, but meanwhile, you can all do, if anyone is interested in the IDC, we can start AI programs, which can be done in Pondi without the need of a course director. We have staff instructors and master instructors in-house, and we can do all of these AI programs. We can definitely start dive master courses online as well. There's e-learning available for dive master courses. There's e-learning even available for the IDC, which is based on the latest update, which Fabi has uh, launched. So, which means that you can do all of the theory and the e-learning beforehand, and then when you come down to here in Pondi, you can then focus on the practical aspects. Um, there is also the staff instructor programs, which are the revised guidelines as well. So, the idea is that you do not have to wait for August 28th or November 13th or any date in the future. You can start all of your optional programs right now. And as some of you guys would know, that some of the interns and everyone whom we have right now, we have been doing conducting programs online as well as offline and and gearing up the theory part, which is 
largely left unlooked in a professional diving environment. But we focus more on theory, and this is a very opportune moment to uh, focus a lot more on your theory. Um, if you have any queries at any point, you can of course mail uh, mark at divecareers.com. The email ID is there. You can always uh, message us on social media to Temple Adventures, any of the social media page. And of course, email us to dive at templeadventures.com as well. Um, mark the next slide, please. Um, here's all the links and everything are there to connect with us as well. Um, right now, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask these questions. Rob, Mark, and myself are here to answer anything you have. We can also chat on the chat as well. Does anyone have any questions? Guys, I think most of the questions are just asking to see if we're okay. We're all fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mark's in Kotao, I'm over here in Phuket, Daz is in Temple, we're all over the world at the moment, but we're all good, hoping you're all good as well and staying nice and safe there. Um, I think without anything much else for us to add, we'd probably say thanks a lot for your time again tonight. Daz has given you contact information to get in touch with him and Mark, and obviously most people know how to contact myself as well. Please enjoy the rest of your day, rest of your evening. Mark, anything else you'd like to add? <laughs> uh, no, it's great, great to see everyone join. Thanks, thanks for coming this evening. Uh, we'll also put a recording of this up on YouTube. Uh, if anyone wants to watch that, because I noticed that a few people have just joined in the last five, 10 minutes, so you can watch, watch that on YouTube. As you can also see the, uh, the uh, Theory Thursday lectures from Julian, the physics and physiology, which are great tools to help you guys that are interested in Dive Master IDC or even those old instructors that just need to refresh, like Rob. Is that actually Julian doing it or is it Mark you doing it in Julian's? Sorry, Mark, I didn't hear. Mark, perhaps for us, perhaps Sorry, us, us old instructors, you could share those links online for us so we know yep. where to find them. Yep, yep they're, they're, they're shared up on the uh, Facebook India group, uh, right. Dive Careers uh, India group. You can see the, the links there to the, the theory videos as well, and to this one as well. We'll put uh, this up on the Dive Careers Facebook group for India.